Hello everyone, this is me Sadhya here and I'm doing your second week of May reading start from the 8th through the 14th of May 2021. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. So let's see what is coming up for you guys for this uh, week time. I will add charms, oracle cards and um, color cards as well in this reading. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you it's a general reading. It may be not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the messages which are resonating. I'll leave the rest for personal reads. You can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So let's see how this week is going to be for the sign of Leo which has already started. Let's begin. King of Pentacles. Somebody is feeling uh, very much occupied with their work, finances, career. It can be your energy. It can be the energy of the person that you are dealing with. Um, if it's their energy, trust me, it's something which is definitely going to bother you. If your person is very much occupied with their work, their work is going to influence the connection the bad way. Uh, if it's your energy, then you would feel stuck in a situation where you are unable to give time to the things that you want to enjoy in your life right now. So let's take more cards here. Knight of Pentacles. Hmm. Let's take more cards. The Judgment. I feel like, you know, because of your work, you are unable to take the right steps forward in your love life, maybe. Um, or in other areas of your life, maybe your other areas of your life are being affected by your work scenario right now, during this week time. You would feel like, you know, you have been doing unjust to yourself and to the person or people connected to you as well, because you have been not able enough to give them the time that they seek, that they desire in this connection. If this is your person's energy, you are going to feel very bad. You are going to feel like, you know, your person owe you something. And it's just going to get worse as, as you proceed. Because I feel like, you know, you're going to stop feeling like, you know, there's lack of stability in this connection. Lack of, uh, um, you know, balance in this connection. Because your person is not going to be available to you most of the time. Let's take more cards here. Ace of Cups. There's a lot of love, though, in this connection. But um you are going to have a lot of misunderstandings um there will be a lot of issues uh, because of the work scenario of either one of you you or your person uh somebody's gonna feel neglected ignored and will feel as if there's no love maybe from the other person um wow you're gonna miss each other but maybe you're not gonna talk to each other much because there is lack of understanding because of la lack of time given to the person um, I mean, the deck we do have the death, so there could be some sort of a, an ending that you can experience within this connection between the two of you, because your person um could be like you know, especially if this is you who is busy in in the work scenario, maybe your person is not gonna understand you. They're gonna start feeling as if you are ignoring them. They they might have had a bad past in in terms of their love life, which which is why they they suffer a lot when they are not kept in the picture they they feel they start fearing they start feeling low they start fearing bad even though there is love in this connection but your person is going to start feeling bad if it's them if it's you and your person is the one busy in the work you are going to feel bad why because you're going to feel like you know maybe they don't love you maybe you're going to start feeling like you know they 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 don't care about you maybe you're going to start feeling as if they have somebody else in their life as well now all these things thoughts are coming out of two reasons one, lack of understanding, lack of communication, lack of uh, uh, self-confidence as well. You know, one person, this person here will start feeling bad for themselves. And that's why they're, they're going to feel like, you know, maybe it's time that they end this connection because there is no uh, mutual love in this connection. Um, and this person is going to maybe like, you know, choose to end this connection, choose to stop talking to the person. Um and which is definitely going to create a lot of drama in this connection. They would feel like, you know, I really want to put an end to all of it. I better stay single. That's what this person is going to be like. So I do see time apart from each other in this connection. There will be some sort of ending in this connection. Um, the reason behind is going to be lack of confidence coming from this person. Lack of understanding, lack of communication. 
if there has been open communication, if this person has told this person that, you know, this is what they are doing, things would have been better. But somehow I do see that that's not done in this connection. So I do see, you know, a lot of uh, issues going to come through in this connection uh, during this week time. It's not going to be an easy week. It's going to be kind of a stressful week for you guys out there. Let's see which color could be lucky for you. Um, Sian builds self confidence number 35. Again, this is the message for this person here, the Queen of Swords. The, maybe it's the feminine energy. It can be the masculine energy for the you know people out there as well. But yes, somebody needs to build some confidence. Some somebody really needs to believe in themselves and their love, and uh, which could be missing right now in their life. So work on your confidence, and then only you will feel like no, okay, fine. Your person is not gonna go anywhere. They love you. You have to have a firm faith around it, and then you will get whatever it is that you desire with your person. Once they get done with this book, they do have love for you. They do. Um, it's it's more like you know. Uh, um, They might have been like, you know, this person has been very immature in the way they deal with this connection. That is something which annoys this person. So either one of you is not being serious around, you know, it's more like mature, not serious, but mature. I feel like in some, some, you know, um, for some of you, the person's lack of maturity in dealing the situation is the issue here. So, but yeah, if this person was confident enough, things would have been better in this connection. Let's see what else do we have coming up for you for this sweet time. Action. Now is the perfect time to take action. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Again, somebody really needs to work on their confidence. And once you are confident enough, you can have whatever you want. You know, even if you want this person to, you know, to... Uh, to talk to you more, to keep you in the picture more, you have to stay very confident around yourself as well in that situation. You will only get what you want once you're confident in yourself. Uh, so make sure you work towards it. You stop feeling lack of them in your life and stop fearing that maybe they are not going to be yours or something. But yes, there could have been a past to this situation why this is like you know, stemming out. Write a letter to your God, whatever it is that is bothering you right now. Maybe you can let your God know that this is your concern. So help me, guide me, and you will be guided and helped. Then Libra Aquarius could be the signs that you would be dealing with as well. And then you do have, it's time to receive your reward. Once you work on yourself, trust me, that will be the time when you're going to start receiving your reward in this connection. They are your wish fulfillment. For sure, it seems like, you know, they definitely are. But yes, you have to work on your inner peace right now as well. Let's see one card from this deck. Clear your space. Maybe you are having a lot of clutter in your mind. You need to heal yourself from the past as well. Get rid of clear, uh, sorry, get rid of clutter. Clear the energy around you and use Feng Shui. For some of you, you really have to um, not just clear your mind, clear your, you know, uh, fear, but also try to cleanse out the energies in your room as well. Maybe you can also light, uh, you know, uh, white or pink candles as well to fill your space with love without having any fear around yourself or the connection try to expand yourself and try to understand uh your potential as well within this connection try to start instilling faith belief instead of fear let's take the charm sound let's give the charm sound to add the v to you guys so we do have three alphabets we it could be your name initial name initial of the person that you are dealing with as well e and R. It's time for you to play healthy, positive, fun, loving music. Luck is on your side. Things are going to change in this connection. Just stay positive around it. Uh, stop taking a lot of stress. Never, never give up. Um, these issues, these things which are concerning you right now, they will get over. You will have success out of the situation. Just stay positive. Work on yourself while you wait. Make sure you work towards making yourself a better person. Uh, working on your confidence. Try to become the better version of yourself so you don't have any fear left in you around yourself. Like, you know, maybe maybe a person is so good looking, you are not. You know, those kind of things. If you have been having low self-esteem, maybe it's time for you to work on that. If you are feeling bad about your body type, maybe you need to work towards that. Do things that make you feel confident, uh, whatever it can be. And maybe you can start using some self-love affirmations as well. 
uh, where, or maybe you can use some affirmations where you keep telling yourself your person is crazy for you. Your person is like, you know, dying to be with you. Your person is, uh, you know, so much in love with you. Do those things which adds and boosts your confidence more than this connection. So yeah, this is pretty much it coming up for you for this week time. If the reading resonates with you, do like, subscribe and share if you're willing to get a personal lead. You can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.